Good morning, everyone. It is not my usual 5 to 6 a.m. start with you all. It is just gone half past eight here, and I'm finishing my smoothie slash juice smoothie. I want to go back to making juices, so I need to get some ingredients in our next food shop. So that'll be next week, but for this week we're having green smoothie. Mm. I've had a big breakfast today because today we are extremely busy. Today we are having a big house reset, deep clean, reorganised, declutter, ready for spring. I am finished with winter, even though it has been snowing, it is due to snow still, it is raining, it is cold. But we embrace this weather and prepare for spring. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing one room at a time because there's a lot to do. Um, I also don't want to be doing this all day. I want to have an, a, like a late afternoon of just completely relaxing and resting and just relaxing. But I am giving myself pretty much all day. <laughs> To do this I've got a whole day at home these are one of my absolute favorite days when I'm at home and I'm pottering around and doing my house jobs and doing little bits and I can have a morning where I just relax and rest and don't do much like I, I've I, I was having my coffee in the reading room with Arthi and I read a chapter of my Eno Blyton book my famous five book and then I thought do you know I'm going to read another chapter. So I read two chapters this morning and it was so lovely. I could have carried on, but I thought, no, I do need to get up and get cracking on now. So I'm going to do the washing up from breakfast and drying up and put all of them away. So we have a nice, clean, clear kitchen. I also am going to tackle the kitchen area first because um, George will be down to have his breakfast and then I won't have room to do what I want to do. I'm going to be decluttering first of all and cleaning the kitchen itself but then hoovering, dusting, mopping I'm going to do once I've decluttered and once I've got space and things like that. So like I mentioned we're doing one room at a time. I'm starting off in the kitchen. So there's not a massively great deal to do when you look around here. Now I want to organise on top of the fridge and just tidy and neaten that up a bit. Um, take the recycling out, which I will do a bit later, you know. But there's not a great deal that I need to, I'll oh, just ignore the washing up, that I need to organise kitchen surface wise. However, I do want to organise the cutlery drawer and just make it look a bit neater and a bit more organised. It's just a bit, oh, here, 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 it's just a, it's just, it's too much and it's just a mess. So I'm gonna organize that, but the main drawer in here that's really not giving me any joy whatsoever. Also, I want to clean, wipe these down and clean all the all the drawers, the skirting boards, and really give all of that a really good clean. This drawer right here, this is the tea drawer, tea or well, tea and coffee drawer, and it's such an unorganized mess. It's embarrassing for me, really, because I pride myself on organization. So I'm gonna go through this and just take out what I don't use and don't need and don't want anymore, get rid of it, make it more spacious and make it so much better. So we'll just close that for now. The other area I want to organize and sort out is the cleaning cupboard because the cleaning cupboard is just a jumbled mess as well. So I want to sort that out too and organize and declutter that. So then the next, the final thing on the kitchen side of it for decluttering is the pantry. Because again, I mean, the shelves, the shelves wise in the pantry are okay. Then they're, they're, they're all right. There's nothing drastically wrong with how these are laid out. But the Tupperware box just, it upsets me every time I see that. And then the floor, it's just all a mess and just like, 
just needs sorting out basically um we've got this mirror here that i just need to get rid of i don't know how i'm getting rid of it i'm probably because I, I can't put it in a recycling bin and i can't carry it to a charity shop well it's just a nightmare really anyway that's fine anyway so that is what we're doing the first thing i like i said the first thing i'm going to do is the washing up from breakfast and wash all these bits up and then what i'm going to do is declutter areas first i think i'm back i think that's what i'm going to do first i'm going to declutter and organize um so take everything out of the drawer clean the drawer inside of the drawer and then put everything back and then clean the area so then clean the kitchen once everything's organized and in an organized fashion then i'll clean it i think that's the way i'm going with this <laughs> i have written it down on my um on my phone but yeah <laughs> so that's what we're doing also need to put a wash on so i'm going to go upstairs grab the washing bring that down put it on to be washed so yeah i'm really hope you enjoy this video um give it a thumbs up if you do like this style of content and i will be sure to continue filming it for you but this is a real excuse me a real homemaking decluttering organizing video let's get started There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bone Okay, so <clears throat> the cleaning cupboard is organized, sorted, much tidier. I've put things that, I was gonna put things in this little tub and put it up there, but because the pipe work for the sink is in the way, it wouldn't fit. So I've just put all essential cleaning things that I'm gonna use most weeks at the top here and things that I don't use very frequently at the bottom. I've also run out of memory, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I'll see. Yes, I'm back now. Um, I ran out of memory, so I had to put this footage onto my laptop, wait for that, then my mum video called me, and then my aunt popped around, and now it's 20 past 11. So, and I've only literally done the, clean, the cleaning cupboard. It looks so much better now. So I've just got my main cleaning things here. That box is now empty, so when I'm cleaning the rest of the house, I will put things in there that I want to take around with me. So yeah, it's much better, but I'm slightly annoyed that, and I've got more washing up to do. But let's stop moaning, let's stop whinging, let's crack on. So I'm gonna do this washing up, let that dry in the sink. And once that's, whilst that's drying, I'm going to tackle these two, these two drawers 
we're gonna tackle those while the washing up's drying and then I'm going to do the pantry larder sort that out then it will be taking everything off the counters apart from those two I'm not moving those but all of this off onto the table and giving everything else a really good clean cleaning all of this as well and that will be this room done. I'm not gonna be hoovering and mopping the floor. I'm doing that at the end. Once I've dusted, mopped, uh, dusted and like cleaned the surfaces, cleaned all the cupboards and the skirting boards, then I'll hoover and clean. Arthur wants to go outside, but it's snowing. I've told him, I've actually held him outside in the snow. And I said, it's snowing. You're not going to want to go out there. But he says, mummy, I beg to differ. Arthur. It's snowing. It's actually snowing. <laughs> right. I'm going to do the washing up off camera because you've you just you've seen me wash up a million times. So I'm going to do that. Then we will be tackling these two drawers and decluttering. Like the day before, you're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. You don't have to wake up yet. We can spend all day. Marathon, KG saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way, baritone. Oh, yeah. Shut the lights, go in front. Okay, so these two have been sorted. That is so much better now. Looks so much neater, so much more organized. And then the cutlery drawer looks better as well. Cleaned all of that as you saw. And that just looks so much neater than it did before. So yeah, that's great. That's those two things done. I've done the washing up, they're still drying. Arthi is on the windowsill watching the snow cues it's not it's still coming down not too heavy i mean we've got nothing to compare this you know <laughs> in comparison to other places but anyway the next part of the decluttering phase is this pantry i mean like i said the shelves aren't too bad the shelves are okay it's kind of just like as you as you start from up here you think okay that doesn't look all, that looks okay not too bad not too bad and then you get to this and it's like oh and i just need to tidy up really which is just a slight it's just a pet it's just yeah i just need to sort it out so let's just crack on i'm going to start with the tub box which is the absolute bane of my life but let's go
Hello. So, the kitchen is now complete. I have got some recycling that needs to go out and things to go out in the shed, but it is still snowing here, as you'll have seen. So, I'm not going out into the shed today. Those things can just stay there for the time being. Um, the next, I've also decided that this video is more of a decluttering and organising as opposed to a deep clean. Um, I do clean my home, well I clean each area of my home every day throughout the week. Um, so it's not a massive sense of a deep clean but more organising. Like I just feel that my space feels cluttered so it's just organising that really. Um, but now we're moving on to this room here. I'm not going to be organising inside the dresser because that doesn't need doing. I am going to be organising inside of the coffee table because it's just, I mean, I'll show you in a moment. It's just awful. <laughs> it's just awful. Um, and I am going to be having a look inside one of the drawers of the chest of drawers. Although, again, it's not horrendous in the sense that I can't I think I've organized that part recently so there's not much of this room to declutter and organize which is good it's just a general tied up and a clean it is 20 to 1 so my aim is to get this room done and completed I'm going to clean the blinds and just the window sills you've seen me do that before so I'm just going to show focus on decluttering and organizing um, and then I'm going to stop at one o'clock and break for lunch. And then I'm going to move on to upstairs and decluttering the bathroom cabinet, like drawers that I've got in the cabinet, or declutter and organize those. And I'm also going to go through my handbags and be really ruthless and just decide what I want and don't want out of those. And the reading room, doesn't really need much of decluttering um, but we will have a little look oh that's the washing machine but we will have a look I think the main room was the kitchen really that really needed a good sort out and yeah so we're just going to keep going keep decluttering and having a look what I don't need and yeah so I have got some tubs as well here that I'm going to use I may even I may use these down here or upstairs I may use them upstairs in the reading room perhaps. Um, I may take these upstairs actually because I'm getting a shelf in the reading room soon. So they'll be good for that. And then I'll see what I can make with these. <sighs> but yeah, this is tiring. <laughs> I've only done one room, the kitchen. The kitchen's probably the biggest room to be fair. So the rest of the house is not gonna be too bad, but I'm waffling, I'm chatting, but so let's just crack on. Find 
Hi, welcome to our bathroom. Um, so this is the next area that I want to sort out um, and obviously clean. There isn't a great deal much to declutter in this room because I did it a little while ago. However, there are these drawers just down here. This is our medicine drawer, which is rammed. So I need to sort that out and organize that into like medicines and bandages and things like that. I might utilize this one as well and just tidy that up and sort that out. Here's my shadow. <laughs> um, Yes, Arthi. <laughs> um, this part of the cleaning and tidying and decluttering won't take as long as downstairs. Downstairs was the longest, so that's great. Um, and yeah. And then once we're done this, I've made some flapjack earlier. So I'm going to make a cup of tea, sit in the reading room, read some more of my Enid and eat my flapjack. But first, we've still got jobs on. Still got jobs to do, Arthi. Um, and the other part I'm decluttering is this cabinet here and making that neat because that is just a complete mess. Sparks absolute no joy. It is just chaos, a chaotic mess. So we're going to do that. And then after that, we're going to go into the bedroom, sort that out. And I'm decluttering my handbags, which are under the bed and bedside table as well because i've done under my side of the bed we did that a few vlogs ago now i think um i think you've seen that i don't actually remember my brain i've been doing this since like half past nine this morning and it is now like nearly quarter past two in the afternoon so i'm literally whacked but we're just gonna crack on nearly done then we'll be able to relax so yeah we're now doing the bathroom. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious, like, ooh, they would be together, ooh. And one day she said, write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it beautiful. And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart. Promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always smiling oh, Right, I've hoovered, dusted, steam mopped up here and now we are in the final room of the house. And then I'm going to do a little sit down chat with you all about how I feel my day of decluttering has been. It's also now semi raining and the roof of both the greenhouse has collapsed. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so the reading room. Now, I am going to be getting some, a shelf that's going to go just up here and that's going to move so I'm going to have a shelf soon up there so that will house a few bits but I just want it to be I want to come in here and not I mean I already feel like completely zen when I'm in this room it's just my favorite room of the entire house but I also I just think it just needs a little bit of a tidy up like there's things in here that don't need to be in here um, and it just needs a little bit of a sort out really and a, just a bit of an organise so yeah that is what I'm going to do next and then it will be time for a cup of tea and relax 
weeks. It is half past three. I plan on stopping all that I'm doing now and resting because I have got work tomorrow. So, yes. Um, yeah, so, so, because I've got work tomorrow, but, um, so, the reading room. Let's get to it. I want to sort out under here. This is where I keep my hair and nail things here. I also need to sort this out because I find if I keep my acupressure mat here in the corner instead of by the door, I'm more likely to use it. So that can just stay there. Um, yeah, that can stay in there. But this needs sorting. This here, I made homemade jams for Christmas last year and I've got some jars left over. So that is that. I may go and put those in the bedroom because, again, or I might put them downstairs in the pantry, but they need to come out of this room. So I'm going to just put those to one side. There's this little drawer here that's the higgledy piggledy drawer, but I mean, for example, that can go. This is my old little Fitbit watch, so I'm, I am going to keep that just in case I decide to use that. Na old nail file, this is like winter spice pot puree stuff, but I'm not too keen, so that's going. Okay, that's that done. Da, 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 da. Okay, but I just basically want to make that look neater and just more organised, so I'm going to sort that out there. The other drawer I really want to sort out is this drawer. This is my bullet journal drawer. Um, it just it annoys me for some reason and I can't think why I can't put my finger on it it's it is quite higgledy piggledy and it is quite a bit of, a bit messy um, maybe I will look to see if I have a folder to put all my bits of like bits of paper and stuff in to make it a bit tidier there's just a lot of stuff so I think I am just going to have to go through this and get rid of things that I don't I'm not using um, but I use all of it that's the problem <laughs> I use all of it so but I need to take it all out and just do it or we'll take this bit out in particular and just sort that out then there is this drawer here now this drawer I actually uh, use everything in here um, that's birth this is like birthday stuff that's for my label maker so yeah I use everything in here so this can actually stay as it is although look what I've just found so I can put my little stickers in here great okay that's cool but yeah everything else in here I use and it's great and I'm not changing anything so that can stay there like that over here um i have got a few so these two dr driving books can go in the bedroom because i was going to get rid of those but i'm not just in case i decide i want to drive in the future i've got my art stationery here this is a microphone for a box for my microphone but that can go into the bedroom for now so much stuff honestly it's really overwhelming how much stuff one has right this can go because I don't need this tripod anymore. I haven't used it for years and I use the one the one that I currently have. So that can go. Uh, mm -mm -mm. I have a games. Oh, you literally couldn't see anything then. I have a games controller. So that needs to stay because obviously I play games. That can stay. Headphones. Okay, cool. Right, that's that sorted. So, yeah, I'm going to pop you on my tripod now, pop you on a time lapse because I've been talking for nearly six minutes and just crack on with sorting out and tidying up in here. go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again 
Oh my good lord, I'm done. <laughs> Five past four. And I'm done. Granted, I did speak to my mum. Hello, Afi. I did speak to my mum this morning and then my aunt came round. So I didn't fully start cleaning until about half eleven, like properly. So half eleven, half eleven, half twelve. Then I had a break for lunch. So I've probably been cleaning and organising for three to four hours today. Um, I know I didn't film a lot of my of me cleaning the house, but that's because what is going on my head? That is because it's really hard to film and clean, like to set the camera up film cleaning one area then you've got to move it because you've got out of shot and this it must take some of these cleaning youtubers hours and it, it must take them longer than the day i don't think a lot of them do that full house in a day um and i just couldn't film because my memory card kept getting used up so i had to put them the footage onto my laptop which took time to transfer onto there so it's a real process <laughs> But I wanted to show you my decluttering and I'm really really happy with the areas that I have decluttered and I've organised it so much better. I feel so virtuous, I feel really really great and I am now going to go upstairs and enjoy some homemade flapjack, a lovely cup of bedtime brew tea and read another chapter or two of Enid before tea later. Um, I am knackered. But it's good. I've got a whole bin bag full of things that I am um, saying thank you and goodbye to. And yeah, it's been great. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's probably going to be really long. Um, I'll try and shorten it as much as I can. But um, yeah, I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Just I feel all ready for spring. I feel organised. I feel everything's... I feel cleansed if that makes sense. I feel cleansed. I won't be cleaning the whole house each week because it was a mammoth task. I'm going to keep doing my one day, one area of the house a day clean. So yeah, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Although tomorrow I'm not going to have to clean anywhere because I have deep cleaned this entire house. My hands are cracked and dry. So yeah. But it's been really good. I've really, really enjoyed it. And now I'm going to go, like I said, go and read Enid, eat my uh, flapjack and relax, have dinner, get a bath. I was going to edit some of my YouTube video, but I'm just not going to tonight. I'm just not. I'm just going to relax. And enjoy my evening and go get an early night ready for work tomorrow. So if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave me any comments in the comment section bar below, and if you are new to my channel and you like all things homemaking, traditional housewife living, lifestyle vlogs, with the occasional monthly reset thrown in there, then make sure you subscribe for more videos. Okay, bye!